This is why makeup is never a good idea. So, um, and I'm a mush bag, so I, I do not promise to not get weepier as we go through this. Um, we have two um, other awards to give this afternoon. Um, one it was started uh, two years ago when the Knowledge Works Board created the Susan Schilling Award. And this award is to recognize individuals who have contributed to the innovation and sustainability of the New Tech Network. The award was named to honor Susan Schilling upon her retirement. And Susan was CEO of the New Technology Foundation prior to the joining of that foundation with KnowledgeWorks. Her dedication and leadership in the fields of technology and education set the criteria for the award. The recipient must be an entrepreneur in the field of education, someone who has demonstrated leadership and whose efforts to sustainability of, of the school and of the new tech model. This year's recipient has not only demonstrated all of these qualities, but has also played a key role in the development and success of new tech network. In addition, this person continues to push for innovation and in education in order to provide a better learning experience for all students. And this year's recipient is Mark Morrison. So I get to say a few more things about Mark. Was it a surprise? This whole thing's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good cover-up. We had a feeling it's hard to keep this one secret. Mark served as the principal of the uh, New Tech flagship in Napa for nine years. During that time, he provided leadership, inspired innovation, and helped to establish what has become the core principles and practices of the New Tech model. Mark's dedication to the students and focus on culture of trust, respect, and responsibility were always apparent and continue to this day. On a regular basis, Mark could be found running school student focus groups and helping students with anything that they needed. In addition, he gave the staff the freedom and encouragement to innovate and develop an academic program focused on what's best for students. It was Mark's cowboy spirit cowboy boots, <laughs> and forward thinking that enabled a small school of 240 students to become a national model for school reform. Early on in the school's existence, he established a business advisory group that helped guide and support the school through strategic decisions. In 2000, he led the formation of the New Tech Foundation, which quickly evolved into the New Tech Network. In 2005, Mark joined the NTN staff as the Director of Leadership Development, supporting directors in New Tech schools across the country, and also doing the cultivation work in Indiana. And Dave, here's your Indiana plug. <laughs> I think you drove more back roads with Dave than he wants to admit publicly. Uh, in 2009, he became Director of Secondary Ed in the Napa Valley Unified School District, and there he has led the development of a new district-wide 21st century learning plan that brings the new tech principles, and that's not the people, but the principles with the E, and practices to scale by training all teachers K-12 in project-based learning and providing all students with laptops or access to other mo mobile devices. That's not quite true. It's not every student, is it? But close. It does sound really good. <laughs> Mark's energy, optimism, and commitment to students and school reform is evident in all of his work and serves as an inspiration for all educators to push the boundaries of what schooling can and should be. Here are a few quotes from students, parents, and colleagues about Mark's, works, Mark's work over the years. This is where you get ready to say a few words, so yeah. Oops, I went too fast. But we're not going to read this out loud. Come on over and we'll do this. Uh, Pam's the secretary. Alan Veach, if you were here and wanted to scream this out, I know you would. But uh, without Mark Morrison, Bloomington would not be part of the New Tech Network. Mark had confidence in the model and the real world experience that was crucial to ensuring we got off to a great start. Alan, you out there? That's a yay. Yay, Alan, thank you. Thanks, Alan. <laughs>
And Tom, you must be out here. Where's Tom? Yeah, there's Tom. I was challenged by Mark's example to become one-third visionary, one-third intellect, and one-third cowboy. Which third one? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the part where I finish and you start. The Susan Schilling Award. I think we have something. Because there's never enough glass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lydia. Thanks for uh, bringing that back in, too. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. Wow. Wow. Thank you. There's New Tech. Wow. The New Tech Mojo is strong in this room. This is good. This is great. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, to the network for, the, for this honor. Uh, Susan Schilling. Uh, those of us that know Susan, she, she laid the bricks uh, for the foundation of the New Tech Network. Uh, she brought it from just Napa New Tech uh, to well over 20 schools, uh, and uh, it, it's a real honor to get an award in her name. Um, wow. I, uh, as I walked in here yesterday for lunch, I, 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 really, I, I really did have to pinch myself and look at over a thousand um, educators that are that are organized around uh, really some pretty simple design principles that our community put together back in 1996. It, the, I think the real big difference was in 1996 there were six teachers, three support staff, and 110 kids um, that all came into a, a, a new building that didn't look like school as usual at all, and and really there was there was no echo. Uh, <laughs> There was no internship coordinator. Uh, there was no, you know, support staff around us. It, it, there, the, the only thing that we had to lean on in the early first year was that there, when we looked around the room and we were problem solving an issue that um, there, there was really nobody to turn to. I mean, it, it, nobody else in the world uh, was implementing a school model like this. So we, we coined a mantra at that time that the answers are in the room. That if you know if we're if we're going to get through this day, <laughs> year, uh, it was more day to day. Um, we've got to lean on each other. We've got to we've got to we've got to create a culture where where we allow people to, their ideas to bubble up and, and for us to move forward in a smart way. So uh, to walk into this room and and, and think about um, new principal new directors that are coming into this model and and with the still the mantra of the answers are in the room the, the room just got a lot bigger you know I mean this is this is really amazing so I, I really we, we have two new techs in in Napa Valley Unified now we have American Canyon High School woohoo uh, and they're breaking new ground on a comprehensive high school model around the instructional model and and the culture of, of new tech and and uh, they're at the beginning uh, of that. So, but we also have Napa New Tech, Napa New Tech back here. And I, I really just kind of want to finish with, uh, we, we're having a leadership transition at Napa New Tech this year. Uh, uh, Howard Mahoney, great principal, was at SAC New Tech uh, and, and then came and led Napa New Tech for a few years, has uh, uh, moved on. And we have um, Michelle Spencer as our new principal. And I just want to say to you, Michelle, uh, there, there's a whole lot of smart people in this room. Don't ever miss an opportunity to go to a director's meeting. Because <laughs> truly, the answers are in the room, and uh, you're going to have a lot of questions. So I wish you well. Thank you all very, very much for this award. Thank you.